Kidney failure is on the rise in the U.S. Right now, there are currently 500,000 Americans requiring some form of treatment. If a transplant isn't an option, patients often require some form of dialysis. Here today to tell us more about a new innovative procedure is Dr. George Mueller from Bethesda Hospital West and Baptist Health South. Good morning and welcome. Good to have you here. Well, it's great to be here, John, and we are excited at Bethesda yeah, Hospital. I'll bet because we've got a new technique now that makes the creation of a fistula less traumatic for the patient. Okay, can you describe what you're gonna be doing? Absolutely, okay. so you know, John, to do dialysis, you have to take blood from the patient's body, okay. and then you have to take it to the dialysis machine and then bring it back, and the dialysis machine washes the blood. Mm -hmm. Now, the way the blood comes from the body is called the access. And up until this year, the only way you could do it was a cutting operation. But we've got new technology that was developed here in the United States that allows us to do it through no incision surgery, just tiny needle punctures. This is really Excellent. exciting. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Okay, so uh, first of all, who, who does it affect? Who's a good candidate for this? Well, you have to look at the arteries and the veins of the patient that are going into dialysis but if the arteries and veins are in decent shape, then this works out to be a great procedure. Okay. You know, John, I've got a graphic here that okay, I can yeah, show you. I, was I can say. teach you All how right. to do this. Let's come back over here and look at this. That's, you can teach me how to do it. Okay, sure. So, John, this is how you, you're going to create this if, we're, if you're going to do it yourself. All right. You're going to put a needle in the artery here, okay. a needle in the vein there. And then you're going to go down to this spot just below the elbow, mm -hmm. and then you're going to put in two little tubes mm -hmm. that have magnets on them. And these magnets line up opposite the artery, opposite the vein. They draw themselves together, and then an arm comes out of the vein catheter, goes over to the arterial catheter, makes a small hole, and then voila, there's a connection between the artery and the vein that's called the fistula. Wow. And then with time, the, fish, the vein, which has thin walls, grows to a big size, and then when, it, when it's uh, ready for dialysis, the nurses can put needles into it and take w one needle from the body to the machine and then one needle back to the patient. All right, why is this significant? Oh, John, it's crazy significant because prior to this, we'd always have to make a cut mm -hmm. from here to here mm -hmm. or a cut up in here. And, and those cuts always heal with a certain amount of scarring because right, all cuts, right, you know that, yeah, exactly. heal with scarring. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so now the scarring that's involved is only up here at the puncture site. There's no scarring where the fistula is made. And we think that that lack of scarring where the fistula is made is gonna make the fistula work better and, and probably get ready for dialysis faster. How long has this been used now? Well, good question there. Approved by the FDA in, in July of 2018, instituted at Bethesda Hospital in December. And you know, John, as it turns out, here in Palm Beach County, at our program at Bethesda Hospital, we're the second most active program in the United States of America. Wow, that's excellent, that's excellent. It's just real exciting for All us. Right. Our whole team is just, just I'll bet. well, you can tell how excited yeah, I, I am. I see that. All right, is it covered by insurance? Absolutely. Okay. All right, Absolutely. Good. You know, the insurance carriers recognize that if something is less invasive, that it's better for the patient. Right. You know, Absolutely. and so we've done that with, with gallbladder surgery and, and aneurysm surgery, and now it's for AV fistulas. It sounds like win win. Thank you so much for telling us about it. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for having us. Okay.